Hey everyone, it's me again. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uni exists. But nevertheless, we are here with the new content. And today, we're taking a look at the Ruvox, one of the two new incarnate weapons. And it's not like what you think. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the weapon's stats first. This weapon is a fist with a 1 attack speed, 1.25 range, and 0.9 follow through. In terms of crit, the weapon has 26% crit chance, 2.2 times critical multiplier, and 20% status chance. These stats are quite okay, but there is one huge downside. The weapon is impact for some reason. <sighs> But hey, let's take a look at the Incarnate Evolution, uh, maybe it's better? Yeah, the same stats, the same elements. But we're building the weapon, so we have to work with what we have. So now let's see what we're dealing with, starting with the evolutions. The first evolution allowed the weapon to transform to the Incarnate. Yeah, I think it's pretty simple. You can get your transformation once you get 6 times combo. Once you turn the weapon into its Incarnate form, you get negative 35% attack speed. Please D, stop making the animation shine, for the love of god. And the weapon turns the impact damage into puncture. Also, the incarnate evolution allows the weapon to impale the enemies when you do a heavy slam attack. And by the way, did I mention that the slam attacks got massively buffed, allowing it to benefit from your mods, including crits, status, and damage mods? Yeah, it's a huge one. Well, range doesn't count, but <laughs> who cares? The second evolution I went with the middle one that allow you to get 15% attack speed once you get a melee kill. This buff stacks up to 3 times, removing the 35% negative attack speed from the first evolution. Thank god they thought about this. I don't know why the negative 35 attack speed exists in the first place, but whatever. The third evolution I went with seismic slam that allows you to get 60% slam radius. Well, it's the only one that makes sense here, honestly, since you don't, well, you won't benefit from initial combos in. I'm building combo and quickening exists. My fourth evolution I went with swift transmute that allows me to get my incarnate form really quickly with three times combo. Actually I went with this one because I wanted to get my incarnate form really quickly but it's up to you to pick whatever you want. Last but not least my fifth evolution. I went with I went with born ability I'm not gonna say this word. This evolution makes the, the impaled enemies take more damage from status effect. And this works really well with melee influence builds. But I'm not going to do this in this video since you probably have seen it somewhere else. And it's expected honestly. Now you will be asking me which frame I'll be using or which helmet or what am I doing with the weapon. Well, allow me to introduce Varuna, the wolf mommy. Yeah, you heard me right. This Warframe allows your melee to get extra critical damage, 100% status chance, 100% critical chance, and force proc slash with one ability. Yep, which is Shroud of Dinar. Also, this Warframe has an ability that applies every single elemental and physical status effect in the game with two casts. Yep. Also, this Warframe has four passives and the third passive happens to be a heavy attack efficiency yep you heard me right and the warframe also happens to have a very nice energy economy with her third ability so this is the warframe that i'm going to choose okay this warframe is known with her fourth ability that is considered as her helmet slot so which ability i'm going to use well, I had two options. First, with Nourish to give me the viral elemental damage on my Ruvox. But I felt this one kinda... Meh. Yeah, that's my voice, not a voice effect. Regardless. And my second option was Wrathful Advance from Kulevu that allows me to get flat critical chance increase. This ability will allow me to reach the red crit territory without even building crit on my weapon. So, I have my priming and I have my critical damage, my slash procs and critical chance. What else can we do? Maybe apply some elements? We'll get the viral from my Varuna's second ability or multiple other status effects to buff my condition overload base damage okay what is my main damage type well i have dual elemental mods that allows me to form radiation yep you heard me right radiation damage what else yep you can fit more there is a very strong arcane called melee exposure 
this arcane allow you to get 240 percent corrosive damage on your weapon so you're dealing radiation and corrosive and you get your viral from priming with your second ability and multiple other status effects so this weapon is going to deal a devastating amount of damage yep so i literally killed the point that this weapon has a really low base damage so now let's take a look at some builds starting with veruna First, you need to know that my Varuna had three blue Archon Shards for energy maximum. One of them happens to be Tau Forged, and two yellows for casting speed to increase the fluidity of movement and casting abilities since this Warframe is going to be casting a lot of abilities. Now, let's take a look at the build. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the Mecha Set, but hear me out. The Mecha Set will allow you to spread your Slash procs around the room within technically 30 meter radius when you have the full set. But uh, it's a massive damage increase and extra kpm which is kills per second so i'm not a big fan of the set but it's very powerful with this setup so let's continue with the build in the aura i got mecha empowered and i have mecha pulse complete my mecha set on warframe and the rest will be on my kubro we'll get to that rolling rolling out for the three seconds of vulnerability and status cleanse prime sure for it for the last time on your butt which is a huge dps increase my arc prime continuity or 55 percent ability duration sustain all of my abilities equilibrium to pair with my lakatant to sustain my energy ogre reach and archon stretch to increase my range and archon stretch will give me energy regeneration whenever my abilities proc an electric status effect and it's easily done with my second ability blind rage and umbral intensify to give me a total of 243 percent ability strength to increase my crit damage on my shard of the nar and rightful advance critical chance my arcanes is arcane strike and arcane fury to give me attack speed and base damage to my melee my second Secondary and primary doesn't matter, just have the dual dexterity arcanes on each weapon to sustain your combo duration to give you a total of 20 seconds of combo duration. Now let's take a look at my Ruvox build, I've told you the evolution so I will head right to the build. If you didn't pay attention, timestamps exist. Now let's take a look at the build, as you see there is no crit chance in the build but I have gladiator mod and or an amalgam organ shatter for critical damage and the rest is condition overload, radiation mods and primed reach range is important in this build and i have berserker fury for attack speed but you can swap it for quickening to get more combo count chance and i have arcane exposure melee exposure to give me the corrosive damage dreamer's wrath to apply tonokai so i can do my wrathful advance for free combo and my heavy slams for free combo if you want to use nourish you can wait what remove this real quick sorry if you want to use nourish you can add weeping wounds so you can apply status effects really quickly and with Shroud of the Gnar, you will have the Slash proc forcefully, so you won't have a problem with it. Now, with my Kubro, I'm using the Vizier Predecite. The Mutagen doesn't matter. All you need here is the Mecha Mods and Tenacious Bond with Hunter Synergy and Bite, so you can satisfy its condition. And the rest is just survivability and set fiber, so you can uh, collect health orbs to sustain your energy. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video or learned something new. Please consider subscribing. It's free. You can always change your mind. Also, dropping a like is very appreciated. Stay tuned and see you all next time in the next video. Bye-bye.